There's a report in the, in the media about Malmesbury, Malmesbury in the Western Cape. There's a farmer there who abandons a farm because uh, the soil has got exhausted and so on, and uh, it would get to take too much money to put in fertilizer and so on. So he lets it to lie fallow. Five people, five Africans, they approach him, they, they buy a cattle, they buy a cow from him, they were going to, to slaughter it. And they learn about this farm which is lying fallow. And they talk to him, and he tells them that this farm is, uh, the land is, is bad. So I really have to leave it there and well, I'll see about it tomorrow. So they say to him, but can we use it? So he says, but I told you, the soil is exhausted, you can't. So they insist, they say no. Then he says, okay, you can use it. So they take the farm and they've been announced the South African farmer of the year in the Western Cape. Is five Africans and to show the pictures uh, the vegetables have grown and they say <clears throat> the trick was to use manure so they went and collected the manure from the farmer and from his cattle and did it instead of chemical fertilizer and the farm is thriving now <clears throat> that's a good story to tell because it's Africans, but it's Zimbabweans. It's not any South African who went to the farmer to say, can I use your farm? But the Zimbabweans did. Because Zimbabweans have got a very different attitude to land. That's why you find here many, many times, you get the land settlements, people make land claims. They get the land. Instead, they say, no, rather than take the land, give us money. So I'm saying that even when we talk about the land issue, one has got to understand this thing quite seriously. What is the nature of the issue? It isn't urban land the more urgent issue in the country? It may very well be, rather than agricultural land. If you, if you look at the record of the land claims that have been settled over the last 22 years, you will find that in the majority of cases, the people who, who, who win the claim, they prefer to take the money rather than keep the land and work the land. That's the reality of South Africa. The Zimbabweans have got a very, very different attitude towards land from what our people have. So I wasn't at all surprised to read the story that in Malmesbury in the Western Cape, you got five Zimbabweans. Incidentally, I should have said this, all of them are university graduates in mathematics, in physics, in sciences. They are teaching at schools there, and they do the farming over weekends. It's, it's, this is the objective reality of our country.